We've just picked two vectors, 3, 1, and 2, negative 4. Just pick those out of a hat. Two vectors in R2. And we said that we want a matrix to multiply this first vector and give us double that vector. Now, I could have chosen any other vector other than the same one I did here, because you can't uh, double one and then have it at the same time. Um, okay, so I could choose any vector here, and I could choose any multiple. It doesn't have to be two. It could be pi. It could be one and a half. It could be seven, four, seven, ninety-thirds, whatever. Um, any multiple, and any other vector, and any multiple. When I do that, as we saw, I get four equations and four unknowns. And they can be paired. Okay, I get a pair of equations in unknowns A11 and A12, which are the numbers in the first row of our matrix. And another pair of equations for A21 and A22, uh, the second, the, the parameters, the entries in the second row of our matrix. We were able then to solve these equations easily, and we got our values of A11, A12, A21, and A22. Notice if we wanted to also pick a third vector, uh, pick some other vector and pick some multiple, if we wanted to do that, uh, it wouldn't work. The reason it wouldn't work is we've only got four unknowns in our equation. There are only four numbers we have to work with here. If we had a third vector that we wanted also to map to some multiple of itself, uh, we don't have enough variables. We've already got four equations and four unknowns. We would have six equations if we had another vector. If we want to do this with another vector, we'd get two more equations, and those equations uh, wouldn't be compatible with these. So we wouldn't be able to get a solution. So we're limited in two-dimensional space in R2 to two eigenvectors with their eigenvalues. If we want to go to three-dimensional space, then we'd have A11, A12, A13, A2, A2, and so forth. Uh, and, and we would have nine variables. And we'd have bigger equations, but we'd end up with nine equations in the nine variables if we chose three eigenvectors with eigenvalues. We could do that. Okay, well, whether you understand that or not, this is where we are, and now we want to show what this transformation looks like. So one thing we know is if we use this matrix to define a transformation from V here over to W here, where V is one copy of R2, W is another copy of R2. And if well, okay, this transformation has eigenvector 3, 1. So let's just draw that eigenvector. 1, 2, 3, 1. We've used that vector a lot so far. Okay, there's our vector 3, 1. And we also have vector 2 and negative 4. And we might not have seen that particular vector before, but okay, that vector is going to look something like this. Okay, this vector is supposed to map to double this vector, and it does. This transformation, we've done the arithmetic, we've adjusted it, we've seen that this transformation does take the vector 3, 1 to the vector 6, 2. So if we're going to the same scale, we've got to go over 3, 4, 5, 6, a little past the end of our arrow, but that's okay, and then up to... So, here's 
0.62 and I'll color code our vector 3, 1 and our vector 6, 2 to indicate that this purple vector goes to this purple vector. Okay, what about this vector? Well, this vector is supposed to go to half of it, and it does, as we've seen. So it goes to the vector 1, negative 2. So let's see, negative 2 would be about here, and 1 is here. So we would get this vector. And this vector is 1, negative 2. Well, we'll put a color in this thing. And we'll put the same color on this one. Okay, so this is what the transformation does. Now there's more information. Uh, since this is a linear transformation, it will also take the vector negative 3, negative 1, the vector equal and opposite to this one, to the vector negative 6, negative 2. Maybe I did that about right, but it doesn't look great, but you get the idea. And it'll take the vector 1, negative 2, to the vector negative 1, 2. That one looks a little better, but doesn't look great either. Okay, so this vector is negative 3, negative 1, just the opposite of this one. So it maps to negative 6, negative 2, and I haven't done the vector negative 2, 4, but okay, that vector would go up to about here. So let's just say that's it. And negative 2, 4 goes to negative 1, 2. What about the rest of the vectors in this space? Well, as we've often done, we can talk about vectors around The unit circle. Okay, so uh, we could have a vector here and a vector, let's say, here, and a vector here, uh, a vector over here, and so forth. We could transform all these vectors by this transformation and get a picture of what happens to this circle. Okay, well that would be a really good exercise. Um, the answer is, in this direction, the circles are going to be elongated to be twice as big. Okay? Twice as, you're going to be twice as far from the origin along this line and along this line. You're going to be twice as close to the origin along this line and this line. So that your unit circle would move you out to two units here, out to half a unit here, out to two units here on this side of the origin and half a unit here. And you would get something very much like this ellipse. So this transformation distorts space in the way indicated by the way this circle transforms here. And um, that ellipse actually should be somewhat skinnier, could be better drawn, but you get an idea of how space is stretched. It's stretched by factor 2 in this direction, it's compressed by factor 2 in this direction.
Now the actual equation of the ellipse and so forth is a little beyond the scope of what we want to do, especially at this point. Uh, but the idea is that, again, we've just chosen two vectors and two eigenvalues. We've created the transformation. The transformation does this to the eigenvectors. It transforms like so. And it transforms the unit circle in a kind of a way that we see here. Okay? Uh, now, the next question is, if we were given this matrix, how in the world would we find eigenvectors and eigenvalues? So that's, a, that's another conundrum that we want to approach. So we'll do that next.